Thank you guys. And girls and in betweens. I'm going to go ahead and say a very pointed statement. And that is Mick Robert Corey. Can you get me a water bottle? Let's see who that applies to. This song. We're basic for in case it wasn't clear. You're going to get a lot of punkiness and whimsy and synthesizers and emotions. You're going to cry, you're going to laugh, we're going to do it all for you. It's the full buffet for, actually, you get multiple buffets, too. We're just a small little, like, brunch buffet. Tapas, yeah. Yeah, I was fixing to stand, and what I learned really early on in this tour is that you are not McCory. You can send that back to <laughs> Um, what I learned very early on in this tour is that um, if you make a mistake, well, first of all, don't call attention to it. That's what I learned. But if you do call attention to it, 
It's a Bo Burnham impression. You'll see some of that later. It's foolproof. It's really good. All right, this song is called Patient Roll. Reciprocal on it. Please give me a shot of love and put it where my arm is. And do it with the calmness. Girl, you know that people feel different about me. When I ask about your reactions, I've had me. I ain't think of loving you with controversy. I just tell them stop it. Cause if you are a virus in the future, I can block it. But I gotta be inside it in order for me to face it. The rapid test results, but it's the printer way to face it. Never know what it takes to stage for 40 minutes a day. I was like, I feel it. I feel it. This is Aaron Walters. <laughs> Certifiable demigod. That was kind of nice. Um, playing synth bass, sample pad, and drum set. I'm Jessica Walters. This is Printerino. Printerino is our automated employees doing a lot of this shit here. And uh, Printerino, that was a dope verse you did. You sounded just like AJ Crew from the album. Thanks so much, dude. Also, hello, everyone. Yes, I'm a real boy, and I can hear and talk and stuff. Get ready for all sorts of crazy hijinks. Now that you know this, what am I going to do next? I sure don't know, Printerino, but I hope you spit some more dope rap verses. How did you do, how did you get it to sound just like AJ Crew, though? Me and Chat GPT have been hanging out. It was pretty easy to just get a bunch of acapella AJ Crew verses and then reproduce it on the fly. Okay, but like we live and work together. 
You could have just like asked me for that file. Dude, you know? I could have just asked yeah. you for I it. Know. <sighs> I'm so dumb sometimes. Hey, come on. You have pretty much lightning access to all info of the universe, so it's not that dumb. Thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, it looks like everyone in this place likes to say the F word, so we're all going to do it as a big crowd twice, okay? So this song's literally called I Get Fucked, and it's about a toxic relationship I was in where every time, no matter what goodwill I brought to the relationship, it would be like, turn into you know something I did wrong. And so it felt like every, every single thing that I tried, it didn't matter, I got fucked by it. That's the name of this song. And there's a part where it's like this nice dreamy like verse and then I finish that and then I'm like, it's gonna be like this. When I do that, <laughs> we're gonna say, and every single time that I try, get fucked, okay? You'll, it'll pa you can pass by the first one and then we'll get the second one, but uh, people know. It. So you can also look to the excited people. Anyway, we're gonna do this. Fernando, can you start um, this next song? Sure. Do you want like a nice little orchestral swell intro? Yeah, I mean the song already has that, so you don't you don't have to like say it like you're doing extra work to everyone to show them that. Like that's just was gonna happen anyway. But yes, please. Awesome. Here it goes. Okay. Thank you. single time that I try get fucked. Wouldn't it be nice to live together? We could take a little bit of more, but I'm too good to do it. Never would have thought I could attract this on your mind so ever I could. So much in store single time that I try get fucked you've been craving these words out my mouth but I'm too cut to be a friend of you but what to do I'm here mind is like a wheel now did I left you sobs escape a trembling face and some bad sounds are humming together
of another dose of every single I'm looking for Just give me two days of rushing back to the place Where I know I'm good at you I roll your tree And always keep you in perspective Not this strange I don't want me Don't need it But I need it to me likes Pepsi. Wow. We are post-Pepsi, guys. That's fucked up. Remember when they were doing the Cola Wars? I remember. I was at like uh, six or something years old. Uh, anyways, this song is about stalking that ex. Um, that was so horrible. I didn't stalk. I drove past her house a couple times. Come on. It's art. Who knows what's real? Interesting. Ever since you moved down the street, I've gotten in my habit of driving by your house. Connected 
Thank you. You survived the avant-garde one. The avant-garde one. Um, we're going to play more. Uh, we are on tour with Under the Rug. Love them. Love them. They think I'm a genius. Don't know what's wrong with them. I'm clearly a little jester. Uh, but, um, Brina Rainier, how are you doing? How do you feel about all this? Good. You eating some? Yeah. What are you eating? Um, chips. Like computer chips? Like computer chips, that's, yeah. That's funny. I know, right? I didn't even mean to make a joke, but it's, it's, just, it's just what I'm eating. Yeah, I guess robots would eat that, huh? Pretty straightforward, I guess. Um, you know what, Prinarino? I just realized I have to stall longer than I originally thought. So what Aaron's going to do is do a little drum bass. <laughs> he doesn't know that that's what he's doing. Ooh, yeah. Tour on, you can go on tour. <laughs> All right, the song's called Tourniquet. No, no.
Which is the desired effect, by the way. Sorry, worked on you. Maybe you came in like, this shit, what is that? See, this is the Bo Burnham impression, by the way. No, it's not. That's not it yet. It just felt like it for a second. Um, that's the end of my new album, which is called Ha Ha Yeah. That was it. I'm not going to play the last song. It's an acoustic song. Guess you have to buy it. Oops. Guess you have to buy it. Oopsie. To hear the acoustic song, there's an orchestra on it. What? Uh, but we're going to play some old stuff now. Dude, yes. Are you going to play the ones I like? All the songs are stored in your head, so you can just think thoughts and know what they're going to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. These ones are solid. Really wish you did something from, like, Moon Gear or something like that, though. Look, you don't talk about... You don't talk about it. No, don't search his old music he took off Spotify, everyone. Whoa, what a travesty. You know, a snark master, you know that? The song we're going to play is Tetris, by the way. Yes, I love that one. Okay. It's a song called Tetris. Uh, I was trying to get over somebody that I had dated, and I retreated to Tetris to sort of... It's like therapy, and I wrote this song about that, I guess you could say.
My pearls. That's what I feel like every time I do is like the Kentucky fucking Derby or something. Man, reading a room is hard. That's the Bo Burnham impression. So reading a room is hard. What, I'm not better than you, okay? I didn't program all of this, all right? We didn't work on this for months. That's the Bo Burnham impression. This song is called Emulator, keeping up with the theme of like, hey, what if you cross-sected video games with depression? And you know what? I think I'm ready to play it, so I'm gonna. And amongst other problems, Lingers I sent of a girl from 2010. Yeah, I should into you. So if I got on the air, fill in the air.
the shadow of sinning two more. We got two more songs. In case you just walked in or you forgot, we're a basic printer. And we're a glitch pop band, only one. And we're opening for Under the Rug tonight in a, I mean, I don't want to fake news this, but I, I, it's, it, I'm under the impression that this is a sold out show. I was told the, it seems like that's what was going on. Uh, anyway, this song is called Good Weird. I'm 
might care what you think of me And I might be usher to a need But I can't have you telling me what I need Wonder what to say to me I'll just sit and listen with me Good luck trying to stop me from falling asleep like the popular one. Oh, that makes me feel a little bit bad. Like I like, like the thing that everybody else likes. I want to be unique in that. Oh, I'm projecting. Bo burn, bo burn oh, I'm projecting on the audience. What is, there's like some phil, like philosopher that I'm probably accidentally emulating with that very meta, very not thought out bullshit, by the way. Anyways, thank you all for coming out. We're a basic printer. We're going to play one more. Um, <laughs> Seriously, thanks to everyone who came out, the venue, Ben the Sound Guy, got big time affording all of our bullshit. And uh, Mick on merch, went to college with him. He was my roommate. He has funny stories about me. You can pick his brain for everything and buy stuff so that we don't starve and die out here either. And it's good stuff. You can consider that too. You might want it. Um, please go to basicprinter.com if you want any. If you want to know anything, I got it figured out there. You don't have to go across a bunch of links. People don't use their websites correctly these days, but I am. Basicprinter.com. Register. Boom. Memory. Locked in. This song is called Robocall, but I have to tune, and I need to talk to Printerino. Printerino, do you want to say anything to these people? Actually, sorry. One last thing. Uh... In terms of you all coming out, like I want to really iterate how how impressive that is. Like that's a big deal that you came out on a Thursday in this world where it's really easy to stay home. You know, like Netflix is just a click away, and and it's I'm not like it's it's tough. It's tough to leave your house sometimes. Yeah, not to mention Netflix is kind of an asshole. Do you used to hang out with them or something? I mean, not anymore. <laughs> it's complicated. All right, well, do you mean to, like, blow up your spot? You're the one that said you're an asshole. Do you, do you hang out with other apps? Do you have any opinions on them? Yeah, you know, like, Google is really pretentious. And Hulu is weirdly cool. Like, you think she's so lame at first, but then she sneaks up on People you. People do that sometimes. People do do that yeah, sometimes. It's nice. It's cool. Well, do you want to say anything to them before we, we head out of here? Thank you for coming out to San Diego, California. Printerino, we are in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> you recorded this joke like a month ago. Don't try to make me look okay, dumb. Hey, hey, shut the fuck up. Uh, all right, the song is called Robocall. <laughs> Yeah.
Thank you so very much. I will see you at the merch table. That's an order. Love, thank you. Under the Rock's coming up next. Do your thing. 